Nexstar Energy says this is the most significant milestone inside what some call the future of Canada's automotive industry, the first battery modules coming off the line in Windsor. These modules are a key part of the electric vehicle battery production. So let's use this wireless mic receiver pack as an example. Inside of it is a module, this right here. Inside of that module are two battery cells right here. The cells will be produced in Windsor starting next year. They will go inside of the modules that have just been announced are being produced as of this month. That will then go inside of this, an electric vehicle, which are being built inside of Windsor like the Dodge Charger. Once that's all completed and assembled, you have your electric vehicle battery powered with the cells and module all inside of it. That's how this works in theory. Practically, this plant will continue producing modules while shipping in cells from LG Energy Solutions operation in Poland until they're produced locally. The finished batteries will be used by Stellantis, but the company has not given specific details of how. Industry experts say it's a moment to celebrate. And you don't pack cells into a module unless very close by you're going to make uh, electric vehicles are going to take these modules. So it also says to me how committed they are to Windsor Assembly and also to uh, Brampton Assembly. We've seen the world in, in EVs over the last three to six months pause decisions. But this one uh, is full steam ahead. Uh, it's, um, it, it's an important signal, not just to the region, but to the province and the country that we're in this business and it's going to do well by us. And uh, we've got uh, the world's best at doing it down in Windsor. This also means taxpayers will begin paying Stellantis and LG Energy Solutions production subsidies. $10 U.S. per kilowatt hour for modules, $35 U.S. per kilowatt hour for cells, capped at $15 billion, a third paid for by Ontario, the rest by the federal government. Politicians say it's money well spent because of the promise of 2,500 jobs when full cell production starts next year and that it anchors the country's and Windsor's place in the future of the automotive industry. Chris Ensing, CBC News, Windsor.